Circuit cubes are electronic building blocks. So Nate and I got the inspiration by teaching First Lego League in uh, California uh, in a school district in Ring County. Um, but as we were teaching them, we realized that they really didn't know a lot about circuits. Uh, they didn't know how a motor worked or how to connect circuits in parallel series. Right. So we decided, uh, well, we got to find something to teach them. But we couldn't find the tools out there that we were really satisfied with that. Well, they were out there, but not good yeah. enough. So we decided, believe it or not, to design our own. So we designed circuit cubes so you could actually see and touch and feel the parts and pieces of it. So inside the components, you can see the motors the gears, see how the light's going to switch on or off, or maybe the physical switch moves. Um, we also designed it so you can stick them in vertical uh, and in horizontal positions, but they also have wires so you can actually build <coughs> open structures with them, like maybe a, a, a diorama with a fan and a doorbell, uh, a ping pong machine that has mechanical levers. Um, but we also designed it so sometimes when you connect them, it's not the right way. But that's a good thing. We want them to learn through troubleshooting and then it also builds confidence for them. So this would be a typically a uh, motor uh, battery unit. So inside there is a battery that's going to be able to turn on things. So let's say we want a little lithium ion battery. Yeah, so it's a rechargeable lithium ion battery. Ah, nice. Okay. And okay. so I want to turn this light on. I just let it touch. Okay. I could also use wires to make that connection, either on both sides. Let's say, let's just do one side. So that's going to close the booth. So like a static okay. kit or something like that. I could tie, let's so grab a, uh, so, uh, a vibrating motor into the mix. Um, You've done this before, John. I have. So it's hard to hear that, but it's so, yeah, jumping around crazily. The, the but now what if I add this light to this? And well, and the motor's kind of just sitting there. That's because this is in series. Now this would be more complex for your typical kid, um, but we would actually sure design many, that into the uh, curriculum for the student. But guess um, what? But what if we put it in a parallel? That the idea and the plan is to have like... You just balance the load, so you can actually do both. But the beauty of circuit cubes is yet. we're not but trying is, to I mean, make your building uh, system. Uh, we're trying to leverage your building system so you can have fun with it. So if you um, have Tinker Toys, change my battery to this one. So it's working. This is completely unrehearsed. So putting your maker abilities to a real to test, a real here. test. Alright, take your bins of Legos, your connects, your uh, uh, Tinker Toys, um, and actually build something out of it, but have fun going on an adventure. We don't want you to say, you know, the building blocks are part of that. And we want you to pull out your uh, bins of Legos, connects, uh, Tinker Toys. We want you to grab your uh, recycle bin. Hopefully all the stuff is clean. A minute. So we would put a different gear set on this, attach it to here, which again, these are all Lego compatible. They're four by four standard and a Lego, two Lego standard height. So they match up. That's so who, it. Who thought this idea? This was a, I think she was 13 year old, uh, no, 14 year old, uh, would that be nice? She's one of our uh, like interns. We basically um, have kids through the, the school district that who have been in Nate's maker classes over the years. He's taught five years of maker classes. So they are a like, great and insightful people for stuff like this. Well, it's called Circuit Cubes. Yeah, Circuit it's, Cubes. It's coming out next year, this year. Yes, it's coming out the end of first quarter and uh, we'll be in uh, several uh, national uh, stores. You're going to have to definitely enter this in the cappies for okay. next year, okay? All right. All right, highly recommended. Thank you. All right.